storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers. Well, those clouds have started to thicken back up for us here across the Concho Valley as we go into the overnight hours. They're going to stick with us, and we're also going to start to see breezy conditions pick up for us. A wind advisory goes in effect tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. as associated with our cold front coming through on Saturday morning. More sun as we go into the weekend and into next week as another cold front approaches us next week. We'll see an increase in clouds, but I think that's about all we're going to see with that. Temperatures right now 60 degrees across downtown San Angelo. South winds at 10 miles per hour. Visibility at 10 miles right now, and those clouds have started to thicken back up for us. Here are those weather alerts across the Concho Valley right now. We've got a wind advisory for mainly our northern counties, including Erion, Tom Green, Sterling, Coke, Runnels, Concho and McCulloch counties. This goes at, into effect at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning and lasts until 6 p.m. on Saturday. What we're watching for are wind gusts upwards of 45 miles per hour throughout the Concho Valley here. That could bring down some tree limbs and take out some power in some areas. So we could see some areas that lose some power throughout the day on Saturday. Here are the wind speeds right now. They're down in around the 10 mile an hour range right now. 12 in Robert Lee, 14 in Sterling City, 15 over in Ozona. So not as strong as they're going to be as we go into Saturday. This is 4.30 in the morning. Still seeing southerly winds at 4.30 in the morning. The front hasn't quite come through yet at 4.30 in the morning. Seeing wind speeds of 25 over in Mertzen, 22 here in San Angelo, 21 in Sterling City as we go into the early morning hours on Saturday. As we go through the day on Saturday, this is 11.30 in the morning. Those winds taking a shift from the west here. So they're going to be coming out of the west instead of the south. That's a clear indication indication that the cold front has come through the area by 1130 tomorrow morning, but the winds are going to be picking up behind that front and anywhere from 25 to 30 miles an hour here throughout the Concho Valley, wind gusting upwards of 45 miles per hour throughout the day on Saturday. Winds do come down as we go into Saturday evening. Current temperatures across the region, 56 in Amarillo, 60 here in San Angelo. And as we go locally, we're going to see those temperatures generally in the upper 50s, low 60s, 62 in Robert Lee, 60 out in Wall. 63 down in junction. So we're seeing those 50s and 60s across the area as we go into our surface map. We're watching our next cold front. It's over in Arizona right now, bringing some snow to portions of Arizona, some rain showers as well. That's going to be pushing over here as we go through the overnight hours into early Saturday morning. Some rain showers for portions of north and west Texas. So going to be watching that closely. Don't think we're going to pick up on much of that here in the Concho Valley overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Looking nationally, things have quieted come down quite a bit here as we go into the center part of the country. Things are very quiet over the eastern half of the country as well. Back towards the west, still seeing some snow up in the mountains of California and into portions of Nevada, so still picking up on some snow there as our next system starts to push this way. Extended future cast for us as we go through the hours ahead into Saturday, that our next cold front getting ready to come through. Saturday morning could bring a few sprinkles to our southern counties as we go into the day on Saturday. Clearing out for us as we go through the rest of the weekend into next week. Some clouds on Wednesday. Our next cold front coming through on Thursday for us could increase some cloud cover, but I think most of the rain is going to be mostly over East Texas and further east than that. Tonight we get down to 50 under mostly cloudy conditions. Saturday, those winds are going to be gusty, upwards of 45 miles per hour, 71 for a high, mostly sunny conditions with windy conditions throughout the Concho Valley. In the next five days here in the Concho Valley, we're going to see a little bit of cloud cover on Saturday to start the day, but then we turn sunny as we go into next week. Cooler conditions to start off the week with daytime highs in the low 60s. Another cold front as we go into the end of next week. We have more KSAN news right after this.